watch our YouTube channel. Yeah, in this clip we want to show you a, a troll to the, to, the, to, the, to the neck with a gun. It's an interesting part. Um, we know it's not easy and then some people think uh, it's not possible, but what is the option in this situation? Um, we can give him the money maybe when you want it, but we, when he wants more, so we have a, not for me, not a, not a solution, so we have to join that. I hope you like this clip, I hope you like the, the idea, and yeah, have fun with that. Yes, first, uh, short safety information, don't train with a real gun. We use for the training to begin with the plastic, and then later also with a real action marker or with a software. First without gun, uh, bullets and then also with bullets. Again, don't train with a real gun because it's so dangerous and um, yes, you have no benefit when you train with that. Important is also for the training, when you train here, the, the most uh, uh, techniques are with, uh, with disarming, so don't train with a long finger or the finger there because you see when you make here the disarming, the finger is inside the same. Is, is maybe here and we grab so you have also here the finger inside there so it's very dangerous for the finger so better is for the training use that okay so thinking about that is helpful okay first um, the situation is that you hold the gun in this position so we have different opportunities um, firstly uh, with, with which hand is the, the first, uh, we call it primary hand, to, to, to grab the gun. Why we grab? So it's important we bring the gun outside of our body and then we have a chance for the disarming. So when we grab it, it's inside, he has one movement here, you see, and this, the bullet is in. So it's very important you, you grab first the gun or the arm and bring the, the gun outside of the body range. The next is when I know which hand I use for that, in which way I go. So it's the same when I bring the gun in this position and one guy stay here, so it's easy to shoot him. So it's sometimes it's better I bring the gun in different directions outside of my body. So we have four directions. I can go to the left side, I can go to the right side, up and down. So it depends also on the situation, is there the gun there, it's very stupid to have a long way, sometimes it's better you bring the gun over your head. Yeah, so this is the, the question that I have before I, I have to do my, uh, uh, my, my, my techniques for, for defense, yes? So we have this situation, in this uh, clip I just want to show you to grab first with the left hand here, Sometimes you grab also my hand, so it's not easy to grab with that, yeah? So, we use here this one. So, we have two things. I can push the gun or pull the gun, yeah? So, bring the gun in another side. We use the, the gun to bring it out of your, above my body. So, when I grab the gun, I grab direct here and have a good grip there. So the next one, I bring the gun together with my body in this di different directions outside. Yeah, so when I grab, I use that. Because when I do just this one, so he can shoot me there, when I go out, I have a chance to go out and the bullet go there. So what's happened when you grab here, I block here the slide, the, the, the rest of the bullet cannot go out and I have here to block the, 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 the slide. So it's not uh, uh, possible to shoot again, especially for a revolver, it's possible you can shoot again. So again, we are there. I bring first my hands direct to the gun, where it's not this, yes? Yeah? So it's a long way to do that, or not down, so normal reaction is, is this one, yes? So it's the hand there maybe, yes? It's not so easy, I use the, the hand on this position, so it's not possible every time I do that. So the next one, when I grab, I go a little bit out and bring my hand there. So I have two, two options. One time is the hand there, and one time is the hand there. So when the hand is there, I grab here on his wrist, you can see that, and bring here the wrist and the hand to my body. And I use here my body for the disarming. So I pull here, and push here and bring it out. Yes? 
So again, I have this one, so one time this is here, or here is the same for us. I bring here the gun outside, press here, the arm to, to my body, so I have more power on his arm, grab there, and then I move here with my body and go out. Another version here is that I make here the same with my left hand, but my hand is there. I use here my forearm inside and rest the arm in this direction and can use also that. When I use this one here, one and grab here, I can use also here a knee strike and so you have immediately an input. So the focus is here on his pain. Yes? So once again, I grab and when I make the disarming, give him together here one knee strike. I have the gun. I can hit with the gun, it's a good weapon. Then I have to do here press inside the magazine, maybe my finger goes there, or his finger is there, press there, and when I have one shoot, yes, I go back here with the slide and bring in the, the next loop. So once again, so we are here, I go out, one, two, with the, with the disarming, again, one, two, with the disarming, you can hit, direct there, whatever you want. Again, here, outside, knee strike, with the, with the movement here, the knee strike, I'm a right hander, I grab with my right hand, I hit when I want, I can kick when I want, one, two, this is my after action drill, and have here immediately control in the situation, yes? Here in this situation is in my country not allowed to shoot him. Yes, I can control it maybe, but it's not allowed to shoot him because I have the weapon and he has nothing. Yes? So this is the next step. Okay, one idea. So when you have here the grip and you hit here, so normal the reaction, yes, is when I hit him, his body goes back. And maybe I have not a good grip, so I have the gun in this position. When I make the same here, with a knee strike, normally the, the people go a little bit down and stay and don't go back, so we have more chance to give it up. So you have two options, yes? I like more to, to give him one knee strike to the groin, so he go a little bit down, have a really good pain here, so it's easier for my disarming. So that's why I go primary to his groin in this situation. The next one here, when we, we can grab maybe with this arm, this is also possible, I use that. But I want to show you later some exercises to see this is not so practical maybe in a different position. So I prefer more disarmings, it's working for the most of situations and then we like more that, but it depends on you, you can use whatever you want, I prefer more this one. So you can use the same technique what you have in the standard position, also on the ground. Here's a little bit different your movement, but you have to do the same. You make that one. Yes, you see, I grab and have here immediately that. You see here I have no chance to give a knee strike, and I prefer more to hold here the arm because you have more control on, on the gun. So here when I have this one, I can take it immediately outside and can hit here with the gun. When I use this arm, yes, to use that, so it's free for the punch here, it's not so, so, so perfect, and when I use that, so I go a little bit out, I can press a little bit out here, his shoulder, yes, so it's on the side of me, so it's not so easy to punch me now, it's not so easy to punch me, yes, and I have a good chance to punch him, yeah, so that's why I prefer more here, this one. Yes, and then with the disarming here, I pull the arm on this side and bring out with this movement here the gun and have a chance to hit him. And I'm in a really good position here. Right? So, this is one point why we use more the left arm here. So, the same here, on the, the same situation here, when I use that, I go here outside with my shoulder here, yes, and grab here the gun. See? One. And the next is, I step back here and give him this arm in this direction to the side, yes? And here I have a chance to, to punch him also, yes? 
Once again here, my hands here, I can hold here by the one this is the same here one. When you fall on me, yes, I block here with my shoulder, you cannot fall in my head. Here I have a good grip. Then my this arm, you see when the finger inside. Yes, is that's no problem, I take it out. Go there, I can eat here, with the left, with the right arm when I want, and have immediately here control. And then the last step here, I like to do that also with a little bit more real thing, yes? So he make it one time this one, you can hear it, yes, again here. So, and when I, he feel I do my technique, he must do that, yes? So you can hear when I'm here once again. Here, here is the bullet out, yes? And then I can make my disarm one, two, and have immediately here control, yes? So this is not with a bullet inside, with a, a run or a software. The next step, we can try that also with that, with a mask here, and yeah, doing again the same technique. So guys, I hope you enjoy the cleanse. We want to give you a lot of information, and uh, I hope you can learn from this clip. Thank you to watch, and see you soon. Bye bye.